Hi, welcome back to Colky Drone. So today we've got the JGRC Jeep. I can't remember what the full title is. They will be up in the description. Up above you'll have seen the description of the Jeep. But it's based on a military USA Army Jeep as you can see. So it comes in a couple of colours. You can get this in a bluey grey colour. The green colour and then this. I didn't have a truck this colour. That's why I bought this one. And also you can buy it with or without this. I'll tell you straight away now I'd advise not buying it with this because it just doesn't fit properly at all. But I suppose it gives it a little bit of scale but I'm probably going to take it off very shortly. So what do you get for your money? So you get the Jeep, transmitter, charger and the battery. So well, I'm going to show you the transmitter first. Normally I show you the Jeep first. So this is the transmitter. It is fully proportional. It's got a steering servo, but it's more like a steering box than a steering servo. I'll show you what I mean when, in a minute when I do that. But you've got steering trim, throttle trim, dual rates, and a power button. And then, of course, you have the trigger. So, it's quite a nice little remote. It's not special. It's very small. Kid-friendly. Does its job. So, this is the truck. It's quite highly detailed. So, if you look inside here, so you've got very scale inside really nice inside actually it needs a minifigure doesn't it or something in here so there you see it's so it's got a couple of seats there and then it's got quite a bit of space in the back as you can see this rag top here velcro I'll show you these it velcros in you see that it's not the best in the world and then it velcros onto these hooks at the back and it's got a little metal contraption here that goes down again not the best thing in the world. So let me just show you under the bonnet. So it has an opening bonnet obviously and it has. This is where the LiPo is situated. So I'll just plug it in. I don't think it's flat, I think it's got some power and we'll turn it on. Turn on the transmitter and there you go. So as you can see working lights at the front, two reds too clear and actually working lights at the back which is a bit of a novelty for one of these they tend not to have that spare wheel is usable on the back which is a nice touch and the wheels are softer than I thought they looked very hard I was scared they were going to be plasticky but they're not too bad at all so I'll just show you underneath the truck it has leaf suspension front and back it has your motor and drive unit in here plastic drive shafts plastic gears and that is your steering now what I'm going to show I'll show you the that it's not a servo I don't think it because of the way it moves you can see it's not it's not smooth the way it moves it's fine it works absolutely fine but maybe it could do with upgrading to a, a servo at some point it's got fully proportional steering as you can see which is nice. So for the price of the truck it's decent having all these features on. It's well made, feels quite durable, takes a bit of a bashing. The only thing I would say is if you hit, hit too many signs in the front and imagine that bumper's probably going to shatter because it's hard plastic. But overall it's quite nice. You can see it's got a bit of, there's a bit of, quite a bit of movement in the, in the suspension. Not brilliant obviously. And it's quite solid the suspension with that much bounce. It's got these detailed bits on here which are a bit uh, strange. You can these move so you can open up the shovel on the other side. So the shovel here that opens up unless you pop it back in there. I don't know if you can open this one up at this side. Maybe you can't. I think it's a jack handle if anything. I'm not sure what it is. So that's on that side. And then that's the fit and finish. The bonnet clips down nice and easily, very easy to open. It's overall a really nice looking thing. So if you look at it, it's very scale looking. It looks a business. It does look quite nice. And as you can see, you can go really slow with it. So all for the money, I think it's really worth the money. I think I paid 33 for it. 
I got it from Banggood, but you can buy it everywhere. Everybody seems to be selling this at the minute, it seems very popular. I've had it a little bit and not reviewed it to be honest. Because I've had other stuff to review and I can just put it to one side. So what I'm going to go do now, I'll go do some, I'll go drive it. Take it down to the woods and give you a couple of minutes for it just to show you what it drives like. But for me it's a winner, so thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day. Thank <laughs> you.